The demand for doctors who are prepared for the challenges of modern healthcare continues to grow. Norwich Medical School at the University of East Anglia is highly ranked in the UK for producing the best prepared junior doctors. Robin Ross went to Norwich to see how their contemporary teaching methods and approach to practice is helping prepare graduates for their future careers in medicine. The doctors of the future are being put through their paces. OK, so I'm going to roll you towards me, so oh, as okay. best as you can, come onto your back. Students at Norwich Medical School at the University of East Anglia work closely with hospital doctors, GPs and other healthcare professionals throughout their five-year course. OK, I'm just going to take the mask off for a minute. It allows us to practice for in the wards that we can help communicate much better when it is the real life situation. The General Medical Council uh, run a training survey every year and our graduates have rated um, themselves as among the very best prepared graduates um, in the whole of the UK. And you're going to give her the news of her scan results. Omar is a fourth year student. He's taking part in a class with an actor, tutor and other students. He's learning how to break bad news. You've mentioned you had a previous history of breast cancer. The Breast cancer cells that were found in your breast have now been found in the bone in your spine. <laughs> it's definitely a challenge at first, but knowing that it is with an actor for the first time I'm doing this, it gives me that confidence to try things that I wouldn't, I'd be worried to do with a patient for my first time. The university campus is designed to create a sense of well-being needed in the changing world of healthcare. More and more people are living with chronic health conditions, so the doctors of the future need to understand not only the condition, but the person as a whole. So what I do is I go out into the community, find people with what we call lived experience of blindness or deafness or mental health conditions, and they come and they give their time to us for an hour, perhaps, to sit down with a bunch of students and tell them about their lives. Not their medical problems, but everyday life. General practice is facing a workforce crisis, but in this school, almost 30% of graduates go on to train as a GP. The students undertake structured um, case-based teaching with our GPs out in the GP practices on a weekly basis during each of their modules. Um, and as they progress in terms of their skills, they start to take on their own uh, supervised mini clinics. Emily Player is a former student and trainee GP. She's also a local lass. I can, decided to stay in Norwich following graduation and do my foundation years here and because of that I was able to build up relationship with tutors that I've had in, in the past and develop a research and education career as well. Max Yates is one of Norwich Medical School's first graduates. He's now a rheumatologist in training at Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital and a clinical lecturer at Norwich Medical School. He says their graduates stand out. So many inpatients. I think it was the, the maximum amount of inpatients the respiratory department had had. Um, and we had three F1s who were graduates from the Norwich Medical School. And without them, you know, I think the whole team would have sunk. Um, but because they were so competent, we were able to, to get through what was a very difficult, you know, two or three, three weeks. The school is proud of its record of widening access to medical careers. They offer a one-year foundation course for students who show great potential despite educational disadvantage. Once our foundation students enter the five-year programme, they sort of vanish into the rest of the students. They don't stand out. Um, they just slot straight in because we've got them up to the same level as students applying directly into the programme. The learning doesn't stop after graduation. Norwich Medical School has an online learning course to help clinicians supervise and train their postgraduate doctors. It can be accessed anywhere in the world. This course tackles two issues that all supervisors find really challenging. One is giving feedback to trainees, honest feedback that is constructive, and and the other is managing and supporting trainees in difficulty. We think that we've, you know, sort of hit that learning need really nicely with the short course. Norwich Medical School is preparing their graduates for changing healthcare needs and is also supporting them to develop their experience of education and research.